right guys so I'm gonna be teaching you the basics of how to set up your own PA system so for this what you only need is this first to so this you need the laptop but sometimes it is not required but it's better if you have then you have this amplifier so if you're still new to sound the amplifier is what drives the speaker so it would create sound it amplifies the weak signal which I will show you later what a weak signal and where it comes from so here we have a so we have this amplifier so it's a stereo amplifier it has left and right channels it means it can drive two speakers left and right but you could also drive more speakers and I will teach you in the next videos of what I'm pertaining to parallel and series wiring but for now I'll teach you how to set it up okay so you need to have the cables of course signal cables and some power cables so you could connect your equipment so for the next is we need this one when setting up your system so we also need this stand so I have here is some speaker stand where we would mount this column speaker and I have this our wireless mic so we could because that is always used in setups in PA setup most of PA setups use wireless mic nowadays instead of a wired mic so I'll teach you how to set it up later so we also have of course our four channel analog mixer so it doesn't need to be like this brand you can find any brand that you would like or you have on your system and of course we I'll teach you to connect also your speaker to the amplifier so here is our speaker so let me just flip it so in case you would see so there is the speaker and that's what we need to do for now and to set up our system let us first connect the speaker and the amplifier but before that we're gonna be placing the speaker on the stand okay all right to make our speaker stand is of course we're gonna be placing this somewhere oh far all right so the first thing that you're gonna do is here is our stand so our stand consists of just a so you can see there are this there are this um things that you could turn on this knob so first thing you should do is you need to turn this knob um, anti-clockwise direction so, there you go but make sure not to remove it you just need to just put it in a half like this or maybe um, just enough to make sure that this would open wide so to open this wide you need to hold it here and then you just pull this so you're hands here would go down and this one your hands here would go up it's like in opposite direction so that the force would do this see I've set it up like a tripod so the the as you can see the rod were split into half so the next thing you should do because you already have made this possible you need to lock it so it will not open wide so it will be more stable make sure to tighten it as possible but not too much as you might crack the plastic inside or destroy this and will make this useless render this useless so there you go so the next thing is our stand here over here so here is our stand so our stand here so that we could possibly install our speaker we should just um, twist this cable I mean cable this knob and just pull it so for me I'll just use it until here then there's this metal rod over here so you could use this so to use this okay of course this thing has holes if you could see in the video see that hole see that you just put it there make sure it's it does go to the other side and make sure this looks like this then push it downwards and then you try to tighten the whole thing there you go when it's tight leave it like that and we're gonna be and it's now already stable and we're gonna be install our speaker here on the top so to install our speaker here on the top okay so let me just tilt the camera okay so for me I have my speaker installed in here like this uh, Okay, so just put it here. There you go. 
So we've installed our speaker perfectly and here's your speaker. See that? It's your column speakers. And the next thing is we're going to be installing the wire that goes to the amplifier. So to do that is we need to tilt our speaker. So there are two terminals here, but for others they use speak on. But for now I use this. Alright, so let's move it a little bit here. As you can see, let me zoom up. You see that guys? Alright. So the first thing that we should do is connect the wires, of course. So for me, I'll be using this. I'm gonna be using my speaker wires that I've got. So let me just place it here. So this is black, black goes to black. We all know that. It's polarity. We could just um when the wires like splitting together, we just um, turn them around. So that it will not no problems. And this is what it There we go. Then after pushing it, we just release so that the clip would, would hold the wire. So you need to be careful, it might be quick as one time I was tricked by this wire and the stranded wires. This is safe. Okay, so let me fix this. And it doesn't fit, just make sure to go on top of the string and it's there. Sometimes it can not show you, and you can do it. There you go, just press it, and there you go. So you install your speaker wire on your speaker. So the next thing that we should do is um, installing it on our amplifier. Alright, so to connect our speakers, our amplifiers, so as you can see, there's two channels left and right, as you can see. So if you want to, if this is your right speaker. So I'm going to be using a demo, so I'll be using one. So the first thing that you should do when you're in this situation is you need to connect the speaker and the positive and negative. So from this configuration, my positive would be color white. I always use less and black as it is black negative. So I'll be connecting it on our right, right channel. So let me just show you. Right, so it's not in this proper way. So make sure to fix this first before you really try to install this. So I was I was torn by this kind of uh, many times. And I'm a little bit afraid that as I might put my hand again. And it's not very scary again. Well, I don't want to put any tools. But sometimes we need to use some tools. Alright guys, so I've got myself a pliers. <laughs> so in case, let's just... Um, and just make this a little bit smaller so it will be smaller when we twist it so that the wire the end wire should be compressed so just compressing the charming wire so they will fit in when you you've done that we just need to put it here on your positive. There you go, and negative will be on the negative. Sometimes you need to just. Sometimes when it doesn't fit, you don't cut it at all. You just need to straighten it, and you just need to tighten it again. And that things should become better. You don't need to reduce the strength, of course. There you go. So just put them in uh, at the same time. Just have them split like this. And when we're already 
Dann lassen wir sie. It will hold on the wire, so that's, this is how you do it. So it's now connected in our right channel. So the next thing that we will do is, and this is your amplifier's backlight. So what you need to do, so there are inputs over here. So for our right, it's always colored red, but sometimes you just need to make, just um, test it out later which one has the signal that goes to this amplifier's output. So, so this is A, so it always uses A for this amplifier, okay? So in other amplifiers, it could be a different thing, right? So, you just connect, um, uh, for me, I'm just using red, so it could be color coded. And then I have this, uh, so the next thing you need to do is you connect your power, in your amplifier here, so this is the power, it's the power cord, and there we go. And we will now proceed in setting up our mixer. Alright guys, so this is the front of our amplifier, so you can see. So the first thing that you should do is, I'm gonna be getting my mixer and place it on top of this. So, this is my mixer, if you can see. This I use for my mixer. And from its box, okay. Make sure it is the way it is. Right? This is our mixer over here. As you can see, support channel mixer. And then you see I'm putting it on top of it. There's nothing wrong. But sometimes if the mixer gets hot, it's better if you have placed it to another platform, but for me I'll be using this at this platform. So Put this box over here, and then of course every mixer has an external power supply. But sometimes it's built, it's built in with the mixer. It depends on your band manufacturer. Okay, so just need to put it here. Let me just uh, uh, right on top. Okay, so it will be much better to look at. Okay. Of course, all right. This is your mixer. And then I'll be getting my power supply and I'm going to start connecting the ends of the power supply. So for this, this is the, the mixer. So this has a 3 pin as you can see. It has 3 pin so it's just an AC power supply. So there you go. So just connect it here. Then, next thing you should do is um, a while ago, I've shown you that I got a signal cable from my mixer, so what, from my amplifier, so what I'm going to be doing, so this, I'm going to be inserting them on our main left and right channel. So this is the main out of our mixer. Alright guys, so this is our mixer, and now, so as you can see, I told you that this has a main, a little, a main left and right channel over here, and what we're going to do now is we're going to be so when you have this volume, turn it down. If there's a gain here, just put it all the way down. And of course the equalizers. Sometimes you don't have to do this, but for me I want to do this. Just make sure the left and right pan is at the middle. Make sure all levels are down. And don't of course mess with the equalizer. Just put it to zero dB. Don't do enough of that test. You might kill your speaker or do something very not applicable. Okay. Well, of course, the next thing that you should do is you need to have your own power supply, of course. You won't get into that when you don't have a power supply. So for me, I get myself an extension cord like this. Make sure it's very long enough because not all power supplies are just um, on the same or, I mean, available anywhere. Okay? So, we just place our power supply here. It's an extension. Of course, when you get the wireless map, you're going to be going down. And this is the bar supply for the mixer, just put it below, beneath. And there you go. Yes, don't connect it first, okay? So I'll teach you, of course, how to set up your wireless mic because that's the basics of PA system. When you're used to this, you will become more better at a more complex system, okay? There you go. 
All right, so for our next thing, so you're gonna be opening this wireless mic, okay? Set the convention close to this. So, we're in our wireless system. We always have these things, you know, of the receiver. Of course, this receives the signal from the wireless mic. And of course, the cable, the signal cable. Just place it here, smear it. And then our batteries, of course. And of course, most of all, the wireless mic itself. Okay, so for this tutorial, I'll be using one wireless mic and I'm gonna be just showing you how good it is to use a wireless mic over a wired mic, okay? Right, so let me just focus that. focus the light over there so as you can see this is our um, wireless receiver and of course the first thing that you should do is we need to connect uh, the antenna on the back so to place the antenna on the back is we need to do this so as you can see you just as you can see those teeth right there you just match it over the teeth there so first insert it like that see that see that teeth see that teeth and just turn it around like um, in a clockwise direction you just need to tilt your antennas like this and just do it on the next it's just the same there you go so even though if you turn it around you won't remove it see you just need to have this antenna um, place here and they're good to go so the next thing that you should do is you need to install the power supply of course. So you just put it here in the DC. Okay, so in our output, I'll be disconnecting. It's always when you're using when you're dealing with output, you would always use a female XLR here. Okay. Just to turn it here. There you go. You connected it? successfully so we just need to place it somewhere safe of course 